so what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K12 this is the Dallas Mavericks franchise and before I do anything because for some reason yesterday I saw that was the the crowd strike got hit and because someone all all of my Microsoft laptops and the other side in the airport and bank causing the hit by crowd strike not cyber attack issues so anyways, don't get another crowd strike you might be getting crashed if you don't know your laptop. You're gonna get a four crowd strike issue is gonna take the hit of the crowd strike, so issue is gonna be careful guys. Be careful and watch out for blue screen of death and gonna carefully now. So anyways, now we're gonna start again, we're gonna up against Soul Lake City to play Utah Jazz marks the first time. Devin Harris will gonna be be doing his former team with Salt Lake City and gonna skip the Raptors and be, and it's possible because they're December 3 up to January 3 and because there are a lot of very when you hit blue box score causing they playing for double double issues so gonna take let's take the coach here we're ready to go and now we're playing against Utah Jazz so now we're ready to go so for this game for now so we're gonna check if the green Utah here. Yes, they did. All right. For this game, gonna use use the Mavericks. Gonna use gonna find find it in Jersey, and we're gonna use something else. And I think you cannot get get. So we're gonna use the classic Jersey matchup from the old '90s version. So for this game, Mavericks and the Jazz gonna use. A classic jerseys of this game so far. So, hope you enjoy this video. This is Andre Genshin. We'll right back and hopefully, you don't get crowd strike issues. You can skip until the rest of the before it doesn't get hit by crowd strike or updates. And now, let's enjoy it and now let's get back in the video. Welcome, Damon Bruce with you as we get ready for NBA action here on 2K Sports. Let's get live on a Saturday night. It'll be Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks facing off against Paul Millsap and the Utah Jazz. And that's all for now. Time to hand it over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. I'll be back with more at halftime. The crowd is assembled at Energy Solutions Arena looking for a Utah Jazz victory here in Salt Lake, and we've got it for you on 2K Sports. The Utah Jazz come into this one after the win against the Bucks in Milwaukee. And kind of a close game, only a four-point win, but a win nonetheless. And the number of times they were able to get to the foul line, I thought was a big factor. It just seemed like they continued to go to the hole, and it paid off. And their shooting percentage from the strike was just as impressive as how many times they got there. I mean, it was a combination of quantity and quality from the line. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Dirk Nowitzki and Tyson Chandler in the middle. Terry is out there with Devin Harris. And it's Carter in at the three. And for Utah, Paul Millsap and Al Jefferson up front. Jeremy Lin is out there with Fuck. And it's Barnes in at the three side. Here's Harris, hands it from downtown. Harris has got the opening field goal of the game for the man. Outside, Felton. And right away, the answer with a three pointer at the end. And he gets a three of his own. Good answer there. And he's not scared to turn the right there. Nowitzki outside. Another three for Dallas. They come right back with the triple. And I'm going on. How about a three for a three, Steve? Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Well, Kevin, the head coach for the Jazz gave me just a couple of moments to catch up with him. He said that he has a team for a shot clock as their opponent's feature. That's a good tradition for him. He said we're going to turn things around on him, getting them up in the air with pump fakes, creating some contact, and getting them in foul trouble. Let's see if they're successful. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thanks. What approach to use against the opposing D, I guess, in the front of their minds, it sounds like, Clark. Yeah, well, it's a tall task when you take on a team as sound defensively as they are. So you just have to be sharp in your execution. Steve, yes, yeah, you got to be sharp, but you also have to attack. If you're not aggressive against this team, they're going to take control of you, and all of a sudden, they'll have control of the game. Tigers from the corner. Again, the Mavericks score. Man, is he hard to defend. You play him one way, he'll just go the other. 
Felton against Terry. He passes to Barnes. Here's from deep. That's good. And so Felton is just there. Barnes has got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Boy, you gotta love that kind of anticipatory defense. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. First great awareness by fouling on that layup. Make him earn two points. Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer. I mean, send them to the line instead of giving up an easy two. The Mavericks making a switch here. Tries checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And Dallas has possession. It's a three-point game. It's game number two of the season versus the Jazz for them. Now, the last meeting was, was a successful one. They were very sharp defensively, causing a lot of turnovers, and that swayed the game in their favor. Carter with three, another three. For Dallas. Boy, he's a great option from long range on the fast break if you give him that much room. Win. Sit down for 19 feet. What an easy win for last time, as Steve mentioned, Clark. The turnover differential was a major thing. Yeah, I call it disruptive in the words from the defensive standpoint. They were all over the whole game. Here is Lynn following the score by Vince Clark. Barnes against Clark. Here is Lynn. He picked up 15 points in the last one against Milwaukee. Defensively, you've got to commit a second defender. He's just destroying the right now. Yeah, one on one, he's got a handful. Now, here is Harris. This one for three. Vince Carter, the bucket on the assist by Harris. Eight points for Vince Carter. Got a piece of it. Carter against Jefferson. Takes it up. Here's Millsap. Again, the Jazz score. Ryan out of the gate, just filling it up. Both teams are, guys. I mean, points coming fast and furious. Harris with it. He has five. Carter outside. And stolen by Barnes. To the finish, and he slams it home. Here's the replay on the strike slam king. Well, that's a dunk you will not see very often. Smart, he's just using his size advantage to get his shot on. And a sweet stroke, too, you might add. Felton kicks the ball. That's good, and so this is good. Collins has got his third basket of the night. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Hard to put a finger on what they did best offensively, guys, because they did so many things well in that game. Yeah, they sure did. I mean, what jumped out at me most was their communication. I mean, they were really talking to each other, and everybody was doing it. They were on the same page, clearly. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Give and take, back and forth, the whole way. That's right. There are six lead changes already, and there's Rasheed Wallace on set. Both teams playing hard, my man. There's a chance now to see the league leaders in three-point field goal percentage. And you look at Nowitzki, he's absolutely deadly from outside. Well, I tell you what, both of these guys would be an excellent choice. Either one of these guys would be an excellent choice for a last-second game-winning shot. Both are power to shoot. Harris has got four assists in the game. The Jazz on offense, trailing by two. Here is Lynn, guarded by Harris. And Jefferson pulls it down. And that makes it a tie ball game. 
Nothing fancy for him on that jam. Just a textbook flush. Hockey put away without a moment's hesitation. Levitsky outside. Some big ball movement here. No good trying to beat the buzzer. Tie game in Utah. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Energy Solutions Arena in Salt Lake City. Tipping off the new year with the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks go up against Brandon Roy and the Portland Trail Blazers. More NBA next Tuesday. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. Here's Felton. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. Terry is out there with Stevenson. And it's Chambers, and there's Kevin Fly, and it's Howard in at the three side. That's been back and forth. Really good battle. Yeah, real strong battle, guys. And it looks like it may come down to which team has the ball last as far as who wins. Wilkes. He's guarded by Stevenson. Here's Wilkes. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials on the contact, and he'll shoot two. It's on Josh Howard. And the first one drops. Wilkes. He gets points from the strike. A tight game here in Utah. They get a hand on it. And here is Funk. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Nice shot by Terry. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make him put it on the floor. It's a look, and Dallas again with the bucket. You see this, as soon as there was an opening, he threaded the pass right through it. Now, here's Felton, to the right arm, gets it to go. He's always going to the trigger when you get back to the foot. On three-point range, on number three for Dallas. And he knocks down a three of his own. And even if he didn't, he just made it personal coming right back with a three of his own there. Now, here's Felton. Nine points in the game so far. Chandler with the screen on Terry. Shot clock at six. Again, the Jazz score. Nice piece of work there. Find a little space and pull the trigger. He's covered by Felton. Utah trailing here. Sinks that one from the post. He's got six. Guys, yeah, that's what he does. I mean, he excelled in getting to the rim. Now oh, here's Terry. Eight points for him. Stevenson inside the three-point line. And another basket for Dallas. You look at how they've been scoring the basketball, and it's really fun to watch them because all the baskets are coming off assists. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, they're a much more efficient team. Oh, oh, oh. That steal led to that easy transition basket. You know. Steve, they, they've got those guys reeling a little bit right now. And so here is Utah. Four-point game. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz. He wants to make a few adjustments out there, and he's running through those with his team right now. Both teams deciding to change it up. Now that we have a moment, let's see who have been the top assist teams in the league this season. The Mavericks, number one. You know, if there's a stat that coaches really would be impressed by and proud of, it's assists, leading the league in assists. And this team is outstanding. Not only do they have excellent scores, but everybody is willing to make the extra pass and share the basketball. Felton banks that one in. Felton's got 11 points. That 
time he's on the deck on the defense, he's just turning that one into a very easy jump shot, a warm-up jumper, if you will. Just putting on a passing display out there. Well, just to add another fantastic assist to the highlight reel for this guy. Let's it go from deep. And again, that's the jump from deep. Well, they're getting scorched by all these open threes they're giving up. Yeah, it's really been the biggest pit in this club so far tonight. So many wide open looks from the opponent. Wow, he is just burying shot after shot from long range. And he'll keep calling and begging for the ball, I'm sure. Bulls in the top of the key. And Utah again with the bucket. Here's two. He had 10 points in the run against the end. Three pointer. And there's Devin Harris on the assist by Nowitzki. And that's 11 points for Devin Harris. Felton dishes to Fakers. Here's Barnes. Again, the Jazz score. He's not their first option, but not a bad fallback either. Well, he looks on. And deep out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Take a look at the Mavericks. Here in the middle of the season, they're in great shape, sitting atop the conference. And checking out Utah. Nine games back. Checking out Utah. They've done well to get to where they are in the standings. Last year wasn't easy for them, and for the most part, this season's been a different story. Well, they've made steady improvement since last year, and I think that bodes well, Clark, because uh, they've got some talent, uh, but they've probably overachieved to this point. But they don't see it that way. They just feel like they're playing hard and playing to their potential. And that one's good. Huh? It's been said often that good defense leads to offense, and that's what we're seeing here with all these points off turnovers. Yeah, because the defense doesn't have a chance to set up once they've made that turnover. So they're really taking advantage in transition. Here's Hayward. Oh, that's great. Another look with the Sprite Sandpaper. Here's Ellis. He's got a letter. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. A different look for Dallas. Fry comes in for Chandler. And it's Stevenson in for Jason Terry. 29 seconds left in the first half. And that is good. Kevin, that's exactly the kind of shot you want off the inbounds play. Here is Lynn. Party by Harris. He used that pick to get in close. Favors has got four this quarter. Came off the screen and did what I call a right now move, right to the rim. The defense had no time to recall. And the basket by Nowitzki. He doesn't need to fade away on that move. He can go straight up, make it an easier shot. Straight up. The fucking touch on the Thunder Roll. Beautiful. He's got eight. That's pure style. I like that. Man, I think the Defensively, you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, he's been a handful. Mavericks ahead. They lead by five. Welcome, everyone, to HP at the Half. We are right in the heart of the NBA season. Who's ready to check the pulse? For the Dallas Mavericks, they have the lead against the Jazz at Energy Solutions Arena. No doubt, a tough team to deal with. The best record in the conference... They're for real. The great play continues for Dirk Nowitzki in this one, following the last win against Orlando. The bucket looks about five feet wide for him. He hasn't missed one shot. Can you believe it? And for the Jazz, it's been all hustle. A huge advantage in points in the paint. They're having their way inside. Raymond Felton has been clicking through the first two. He's got 16 points and has kept everyone else involved, piling up the assists. Some fantastic play from these two. See it early on. Hopefully they can keep it going in the third. It's been fun. And now we'll look at games that won't be tipping off until later. The 
the Hornets will face off against the Bobcats in Charlotte, 7 p.m. Eastern tip time. And the other game tipping off later, out in Minnesota, it'll be the Timberwolves against the Knicks. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. That's it here. Now let's send you back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Here's Felton. Paul Millsap and Al Jefferson up front. Felton is out there with Jeremy Lin. And it's Barnes at the small forward position. That's the group right now for Utah. You know, you look at his numbers, guys, and what concerns me is the turnover. He's got four already. He's just been careless with the ball. So, so nasty. I mean, really nasty. He hit the bullseye with that dish. That is simply po Poetry in motion. Beautiful play, huh? It's blocked, but he gets it back. Felton picks to Jefferson. He picks it to Barnes. There's Jefferson. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Jefferson's got his third bucket of the night. And Nowitzki backs in. Pass to Chandler. Harris. They're moving the ball. There's the block. It's stolen by Harris. Even numbers. Hobbs the alley oop pass. Trying to go big for the alley oop, but good defense right in the way. Stolen by Carter. Here is Chandler. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And the Mavericks lead by seven. Boy, did they work together well on that? And the Jazz call time here. All right, Jazz. Take a second now to view the top pickpockets in the NBA. Vince Carter on top. All season long, Kevin, he's been able to anticipate the pass and knock balls loose and then retrieve them. I mean, it's one thing to get deflections and steals, but you've got to reel it in to complete the play. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Utah Jazz. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That'll be the second game of a five-game homestand. Here's Harris. Seven-point differential. Goes up here for the two-handed dunk. Hey, don't. Let that size deceive you now. He can get to the rim as good as anybody. Well, he doesn't mess around once he gets there, that's for sure. Now, guys, he loves to throw it down with some style. Back to Jefferson. Chandler on him. The dish to Lynn. And it's flat. Mavericks leading by nine. Harris passes to Clark. On the win, and there's Dirk Nowitzki on the assist by Carter. Carter's got six assists here tonight. Everything's going right now. Four for five shooting, 80%. They've got their offense clicking. A shot by Felton. Felton's got 18 points in the game. Got such a good feel for his shot today in a really good move. Here comes Harris. 16 points for him. This one, goaltender. Oh, the shot. Kevin, even a bright spot in what's otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. And making a change here, the Jams. Bell's checked in. Channing Fries checked in for the Mavericks. Stevenson comes in for Jason Taylor. Outside Millsap. Yeah. Nice to go. 
Kevin Get Harris Kevin. Hey, Lynn kicks the bell. Three pointer. That one goes. And now it's just a short one. Magic lead. It's really hard to defend when you're trying to recover from turning the ball over. No, that's because you can't get back in transition. The offense can just come down and get an easy look on him. Well, they haven't had to ask him to do too much, but he's doing whatever's needed out there. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Well, Matt Barnes in this one, 15 points and four steals. You talk about being on, he's been it. Not even one missed shot so far. Yeah, this is superhuman stuff we're seeing right now. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 158 left to play here in the third. Harris dishes to Nowitzki. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Let's see what the Dallas Mavericks have coming up. They'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. They start a three-game homestand with that game. Here is Lynn. Averaging nine points per contest. Outside Milza. Kicks it to Bell. He's guarded by Stevenson. Jumps up. And that one's good. Bell. Barnes has got 19 points. Now they're on hot streak now. They can't miss. We were trying to cut into this lead. Well, it's been a fantastic comeback effort, guys. And they've actually shot their way back into this one. Here's Levitsky. He's got 22. Just five to shoot. And there's Devin Harris on the assist by Levitsky. 19 points for Devin Harris. Hey, he could have read. Book cover to cover with all the time he was given on that three. My goodness, come on, play some D. Yeah, could have read a book, could have played a video game, could have mowed the lawn. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Here's Bell, and there's another one for the jam. Boy, both teams showing a lot of hustle, Clark. Steve, especially since halftime, I mean, they're flying around out there, giving up a lot of energy and putting together a pretty good show. And Nowitzki backs in. That's the bucket. Nowitzki's got 24 points. There are two guys thinking alike. Perfect pass and perfect catch. Well done both ways. Here's Carter, and no mistakes on the way. And the Mavericks lead by eight. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, it's been really sloppy out there. I understand that they're trying to be aggressive, but still, I mean, you can play fast, but still play efficiently, but they're not doing that right now. Then, out of bounds, and they retain possession. So the team's changing it up here. Dallas calls their first time out of the game. He's been absolutely on fire from outside. He got to get into his jersey, get up into it, force him to pass a drive. And a quick look now at the best free throw shooting team. The Mavericks, number one. We've talked about rebounding being a key factor in winning. Free throws and free throw percentage is another one of those key factors in winning. This team is the best in the league at making free throws, and that's one of the reasons they're successful. I think he's done his part to try to keep him in this game. It's been a solid effort from him, guys. And running a little bit of time off. Looks like they're going to play for the final shot. Steve, you're right. If nothing presents itself, hold for one. Twelve seconds left to play in the third. Looks like he's just trying to showcase his range, but he could probably get a better shot in that possession. Yeah, you sure could. It doesn't do you any good if you miss it from that deep. Here's Fulton. Can't get it to go. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? 
and Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. All game long, he's been dialed in from deep, hitting three after three. And his sharp shooting display should open up the floor in the fourth quarter as they'll have to try to clamp down on him from outside, and that could open up other lanes. Back soon here in Utah. Memphis Grizzlies go up against Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. It's the NBA next Tuesday night. Now while we've got a moment, we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for our Spark of the Game. Presented by Sprite. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the spark of the game, with that push we saw. That big second quarter is where they took control, and they haven't slowed up since. Terrific stuff, Doris. Thank you. That was quite a run they had, Clark. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Kevin. Scoring bursts like that often tell the story, really. I mean, it's a no-brainer. And yeah, that's been the case today. I mean, that's what you have to point to, I think, is the defining moment in this ballgame. On the floor for Dallas, starting the fourth quarter here. Chandler out there with Ronaldo Balkman. And there's Terry. Then it's Mike Miller. And it's Carter in at the small forward. Felton with the ball. A 10-footer. Backs it in. And the shootout continues. Trading buckets both ways. I mean, offense definitely the focal point for these teams. Favors brings the double. It's tipped. And they're pushing up. Shot by Felton. Felton's got 25 points. Mavericks leading by five. Now Carter. Makes the alley -oop pass. The opening was there for a split second, but he didn't get it there in time. Here's Hayward. Here's Felton. A bad in and on the way. Felton's got 11 in the second half. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. And the Jazz call time here. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. For the Jazz, Al Jefferson is checked in for favors. Bill Seth comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Rudy Fernandez. Now is also making some changes. Novitsky comes in for an elbow bulk. And Devin Harris is subbed in for Mike Burke. really hurting his team. Uh, he continues to give the ball away. Jazz trail by six. With three. Button. Got ten points now. Just in his grip. His three-point shot is so good. Just draining one after another. Here is Fitz in the next game. Six to shoot. He's picked up by Nilsson. And a turnover. Could not get off the shot. And a second violation. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. A different look for Utah. Derek Favors checked in for Jefferson. Barnes comes in for Paul Nilsson. And Gordon Haywards is subbed in for Wilson Chandler. And the basket by Harris. And that steal really triggered the fast break. Nice play. Hey, you're right. And the break itself may have been even better. Favors working against Chandler. And here's Felton from the other. Felton's got 36. 
for another uncontested three there. They've got to make some kind of an adjustment. I mean, they're giving up way too many open threes. Well, in the last five hoops, three have come off wide open three pointers. So it's one thing to give up one, but you start giving them three pointers up in the bunches, you're in big trouble. Stone by three. Such a clutch steal. Exactly what they needed in this situation. That ties the game. Transition game leads to the easy hoop. I love to see these guys just trampolining to the hoop. Now Tuckerson's checked in for the Jazz. Ozak comes in for Gordon Hayward. The ball is not loose. Harris picks Winovitsky. Ozak with the steal. It's a surprise to see him struggling to take care of the ball, guys, after turning it over only once in the first half. And again, it's Utah. The guys here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still too close to call. I mean, this one is... This could be an instant classic. But, I mean, this thing has all the looks of a game that's going to go right down to the last shot. And the Jazz call time here. They're winning by two. There's 126 left here in the fourth quarter. Run. It's stolen by Harris. And here they come. Harder. Will it go? Basket is good. Good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got six assists here tonight. Utah trailing here. Here is Lynn. Outside Felt. Beyond the arc. And the Jazz. Another three. Getting up in transition, guys. They're coming fast and furious. They've got the deep gasping for breath here with seven straight fast break point times. Kind of no time at all on this one. 29 points for Nowitzki. Here's the Jazz with the ball. Stolen by Carter. And Nowitzki backs in. Rebound, Utah. Yes! Boy, coming through with the game in the balance. Yep, a game-changing clutch bucket there. Oh, with the three. He's such a clutch shooter, Kevin. He just lives for the big shot. his first run, and the Jazz for a time here. They're behind by one. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jefferson. Outside felt. Here's Barnes. The ball tied. Here's Carter, the pass to Nowitzki. Launches it, buries the triple! Nowitzki, what an offensive force he can be. Here is Lane. Dishes it to Phil. He dishes it to Jefferson. Let's go! Well, these two really battling out. This is a great game. Back for the lead.
Well, unfortunately, we lost by one point. What a huge upset by Utah. And now, and Jared Dudley said they welcome to trade before they're going to leave out of here. The number two bro, JJ Chapman said they're going to take over. So now, we lost by one point. We lost a close game. What a huge close because they're due to the turnovers and due to the steals as well by Matt Barnes. Four three points for Raymond Felton. Matt Barnes got 22. Dirk and Carter got 32. And Harris got 21. And unfortunately, we're not able to revenge. And because that was Devin Harris, we, get the, get, we need to get game winning shot. But suddenly, that was defense. I hate defense from Utah. Oh my god. I will avenge you next time. I will avenge you next time on March 6th. I will uh, do it again. I will do it again with Salt Lake City. I will. Next time to avenge you. Oh my god. So check out the other game series. The Hornets beat the Bobcats. 32 points for Kemba Walker. Tyrus Thomas got 20. Gordon got 24. And the Knicks beat the Timberwolves. 23 points from Kevin Love. Tied with Beastly. 25 points from Cameron Anthony. Baron Davis got 23. 15 and 9 by Sean Marion. 10, 9 and 7 Delonte West. Alright. We lost to Utah, so now we're going to check out Simulate in December 30. We're finish off the 2012 Sunday Night Football in real life. That was the Dallas Cowboys and Washington Redskins got eliminated in the playoffs. So we got Celtics, Heat, Cavaliers, Pistons, Magic, Grizzlies, Rockets, Nuggets, Warriors, Spurs, Nets, Thunder, Clippers, Lakers, Bobcats, Wizards, Pacers, Sixers, Raptors, Mavericks, Hawks, Bucks, Trailblazers, Kings, and the Sixers, Stars. And man, just like the Blazers game that was losing, another heartbreaking loss from Dallas. Oh my god, we lost the heartbreaking by Utah. Just unlike the Blazers, again, they did it something else. And because a lot of turnovers, but we need to save. Because it's very, very annoying. But we need to get trade deadline first. We need Jerry Dudley report. Where's Jerry Dudley? Calm down. I don't want to just focus. There is Jerry Dudley going to sign to trade to. Bill Walker and Ryan Anderson. Then I check out the other matchups. JJ Chapman was expected to trade. Two. trade let's get this one all right let's trade on our trade on December 30 all right so I'm gonna, gonna simulate and see if we're gonna go up this Toronto Do the good games, gonna seem like you're gonna skip the Toronto. We don't let losing again, just like they met. And looks like still won by 15. Let's check out the build box store 37 and 9 by Jason Terry, 21 points for Vince Carter, 16 and 9 by Dirk Nowitzki, 21 and 8 by Jonas Blanchard, 20 by L Barbosa. And in the other side, it looks like Miami Heat still red hot. 28 and 28 tie with LeBron and Wade. CJ Miles got 20 and Bosch got 18. Other side of Celtics got 16 Rondo. Jerry Smith got 15 and 9. Spritz got 14 and Garnett got 12 and 9. Cavaliers beat the Pistons 27 and 11 by Mo Williams. But despite double double actually, Tyron Butler's got 25, 11, 10, and 9. Almost got triple double with Drake Maron. 47 points for Jamison. Magic beat the Grizzlies 32 and 9 by Rudy Gay, 25 and 9 by Andrew Bynum, 25 points for Aaron Brooks, 
21 10 and 7. Brian Jamar Crawford. Andre Condales got 50 and 10. Nuggets beat the Rockets 28 and 7 by Ty Lawson. 24 and 10 by Daniel Gallinari. 20 and 5 by I Harrington. Spurs beat the Warriors. 31 points for Kawhi Leonard, 20 and 9 by Tim Duncan, 19 points from Tony Parker, and 14 and 11 by Manu Ginobili, 3 points from Monte Ellis, 26 points for David Lee. Nets somehow stunned Thunder, a 2 point victory, 42 points from Evan Durant, 36 and 9 by Russell Westbrook, 37 points from Jerome Green, 28 points from Brock Lopez, 27 and 12 by Darren Williams. Lakers beat the Clippers, 3 points from Kobe Bryant, 29 points for Dwight Howard, Ron Artis got 23, Griffin got 3, and 20 and 10 by Chris Poe. Red Close Jam, Bob Katz got Dominance D, Wizards Bob Jabeo Maki did not get Triple Double, has 10 rebounds, assists, and 6 points. Asenia Thomas got 28, John Wall got 20, Blatch got 10, and McGray got 9, and on their side, Campbell Walker got 31, Nate Robinson got 28 and 7. Pacers beat the Sixers 25 and 4 by Jeff Green, 26 points for Danny Granger, 23 points for Jimmy Butler. The Hawks beat the Hawks 29 and 10 by Brandon Jennings, 27 points for Steven Jackson, 22 points for Glenn Davis, 23 points for Joe Johnson. Josh Smith got 22 points. Blazers beat the Kings, 39 points for Tyree Evans. Trevor Ariza got 16, 10 and 8 by Bradley Stockey. 22 points from Gray Alden, 21 points from Lamarcus Aldridge, 14 rebounds, 13 assists, 12 points from Brandon Roy, and Charles will beat the six sisters. Our side will finish off of the 2012. We got the Knicks, Suns, Timberwolves, Rockets, Warriors, Jazz, and Raptors Hornets. They have four NBA games and Bayhawks, Armors, Sky Force, Vipers, Energy Wizards, Toros, Ohio. We're gonna skip it to finish off the season of the 2012. Suns beat the Knicks. 31 points for Pages so Yakubit, 24 and 10 by Steve Nash, 23 and 8 by Lamar Odom. 34 points for Namari Steinmar, 29 points for Carmelo, and Baron Davis got 20, 11, 9, and 8 by Dante, and Sean Murray is at 9. 111, 107, Kevin Martins got 28, Kyle Lowry got 23. Sem 17, 8 by James Harden, 27, 10 by Kevin Love. Warriors beat the Jazz, and now, and it looks like the avenged by Warriors, they said, try to protect Dallas, and I told you I want the revenge, I will stop you, Utah, I will stop you! 37 points for Paul Millsap, 21 points for Wilson Chandler, 10, 10, and 9 by Raymond Felton, and Jeffers got 12, 33 points for Stephen Curry, 25 points for David Lee, and Monte Ellis got 18, and the other side, Raptors beat the Hornets, 35 and 2 by Derek Gordon, 14 and 11 by Chris Kamen, 14 points for Sonny Allen against, both 11 rebounds by Bergani in the Rosen, 25 and 11, 23 and 11, 22, 22 by Vinyl Tunis and Barbosa. Omar, Skyforce, Wizards, and Toros won. That was the that was gonna get another heartbreak. Oh not do it again, sir. Alright, finish things up on your we we'll start 2013 and we'll start off with Bobcats, Hawks, Grizzlies, Bulls, Nets, Clippers, and Bucks, Blazers, and then five daily games. Well, Six Sisters, Legends, Skyforce, Vipers, Jam, Defenders, and PDB cards, and regular man ends. So, simulate right now. You saw Hawks beat the Bobcats 33 and 10 by Josh Smith, 23 and 8 by jo Johnson, 50 points for Nicholas Batum, 33 points for Nate Robinson, and by Walker's got 28. Boost beat the Grizzlies 40 and 9 by Derek Rose, 23 points from Boozer. Luo then got 20, 14, 11, and 9 by Joe Kinoa. 36 points for Zach Randall, 25 points for Rudy Gay, 22 points for Marcus, and 20 points for Mike Conley. Nets beat the Clippers 20 and 7 by Blake Griffin, 18 and 9 by Chris Bowes, 17 and 7 rebounds by Chauncey Bells, and 15 points for Tayshawn Prince, 3 and 12 by Brock Lopez. 13-11 by Brandon Wright and 26 points for Jerome Green. And finally, the Blazers beat the Bucks. 32 points for Greg Alden with 25 and 8. 25-11 by Stephen Jackson. 10 and 9 by Jonas Jabrecko and Jennings got 18. City Sirs, Vipers, Defenders, Stampede, and Red Close 1. Move on to Jawari 2.
On our D-League games coming up, we have Stampede, Beacorns, Bayhawks, Armor, Red Cross, Madness, Ohio Legends, City Sears, the Toros, and then Sixers, Popcats, Nets, Wires, Spurs, Magic, Hawks, Celtics, and Raptors, Knicks. I'm gonna simulate right there. We got Stampede, Armor, Mad Ants, Ohio, and Sixty Sears one. We got Bobcats beat the Sixers. Another record break by 45 points. Kemba Walker, 25 points for Thomas Thomas, and Nate Robinson's got 21. No Williams got 28, and J Jeff Green got 22. Nets beat the Warriors in the hollow by 1 point, 33 points for Stephen Curry, 31 points for Monte Ellis, 24 and 9 by Darren Williams, and 23 points for Jerome Green. Spurs beat the Magic, 27 points for Aaron Brooks, 22 points for Andre Byum, and Tim Dawkins got 28 and 8. Celtics beat the Hawks, 28 and 8 by Paul Pierce, 28 points for Josh Smith, and 15 10 by Al Holford. Knicks beat the Raptors, 33 points for Carmelo Anthony, 25 points for Deron DeRozan, 24 points for Andrea Bargani, and 21 10 by Jonas Valanciunas. January 3, we'll finish off and start off. We're going to Heat, Cavaliers, Nuggets, Pistons, Hornets, Grizzlies, Timberwolves, Jazz, Kings, Throwblazers, Bucks, Thunder, and two D League games with Energy, Wizards, and Jam Defenders. We're going to simulate right here. We're going to Heat beat the Cavaliers as still red hot. Irving got 33 and 9, 25 points for Jamison, 40 points for LeBron, and triple double complete by Dwayne Wade with 40 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists, 26 and 9 by Chris Bosch. Pistons stunned Denver. Wow, what an upset! 48 points for Mo Williams, 21 and 10 by Danny Naganari, 21 and 8 by Ty Lawson. Grizzlies beat the Hornets. Wow, what a blowout by 15 point margin. 36 and 8 by Zach Randolph, 23 by Mike Conley, and 21 points for Rudy Gay. Sunday Allen Games got 23, and Eric Gordon got 22. Timbos beat the Jazz. I told you I will stop you, Utah. I will stop you. 35 points for Paul Millsap. 33 points for Kevin Love and 20 and 10 by Ruti Rubio. I will stop Rachel. I will stop Rachel because you stop doing it again. I want I will avenge you for revenge. I will avenge you for Soul Lake City. I will next time we'll meet on February 1. Blazers beat the Kings. 25 points for the Marcus Aldridge and Bud Odin and Aminu got 16 and 10. 14 by Stucky. And Box beat the Thunder. 33 points for Kevin Durant and 31 points for Curry McGetty. 29 and 9 by Steven Jackson. 14 and 10 by Brandon Jennings. Energy, Jam, and Clippers. So we're checking the Clippers one. 41 and 12 by Blake Griffin. And almost triple double by CP3. 27, 11, and 9. Kevin Martin got 33. And Andre Kanenko got 23 and 8. Next game we'll head to January 4. We got Hawks, Bobcats, Cavaliers, Raptors, Pistons, Bulls, Timberwolves, Nuggets, Nets, Spurs, Bucks, Lakers, Heat, Sixers, Pacers, Magic, Wizards, Snakes, Warriors, Mavericks, Kings, Hornets, Rockets, Suns, and the last one, they have Ohio Canton. Ohio and Armors. Well, check out these things. We entered the new year of Jim Warley. Heat, still the number one. Pacers, number two. Milwaukee, number three. Nets, number four. Net Cavaliers, number five. Boost is number six. Knicks, is number seven. And Atlanta is number eight. In the Hunt West, Boston. On the West, we got Dallas, OKC, Phoenix, Memphis, Utah, Portland, Denver, and Clippers. And Lakers don't care is number 9 and San Antonio was number 10. And the power rankings will be Miami, Dallas, and OKC stays at top 3 once again. Indiana move up to number 4, Milwaukee move up to number 5, move down to number 5, and Cleveland is also move up to number 6. Utah move up to number 7 following stun upset against Dallas. Memphis move up, stays at number 8, New York move up to number 9, Chicago number 10, Atlanta stay at 11, Clippers number 12, Suns got 13, Nets got 14, Portland got 15. League leaders as we end wrap things up for New Year, 35.5 for LeBron, 34.5 for Kevin Durant, 33.2 for Dwayne Wade, and 33.1 for Dirk Nowitzki, 32.7 by Kyrie Irving, and RSI Carter's got 28.4. Translation report, Roy Terra will be get one year deal, Marvin Owens got one year deal, and Adrian Hero got one year deal as well. Injury report on the Napoli, Awards All-Star vote, 25 million votes for Kobe Bryant, 24 million votes for Vince Carter, 27 million votes for Dirk Nowitzki, 24 million votes for Kevin Durant, 20 million votes for Dwight Howard. Award races, MVP got Dirk and Vince Carter. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Kevin Durant, Rookie of the Year, Wingate, Richards, Chapman, Shelton, and Pollard, Six Men, Williams, Evans, Thompson, Nelson, and Holiday, 
Defensive player Maron, Nash, Alford, Duff, Durant, and Connor. And most improved player Larry, Jerbeko, Dang, Blair, and Irving. Players of the week were finished off with LeBron James and Devin Harris will finish the players of the week. Players of the month and receive uh, Kyrie Irving and Dirk Nowitzki were back to November as the glitch issues they will found it. As except for March we're getting glitch costing. April will get missing with December will not allow the disabled and rookies of the month. Polar and Wingate will be give our uh, rookies of the month. So team records you see Kemba Walker got 41 points on our break breaking the record for the Bobcats history. Another added is 2013 season, the end of the doomsday era. So and then right now it's happening around the league. So next time we're gonna do I decide we're gonna go up for double header actually because we still are now until two o'clock, two o'clock. So we're gonna check out quickly. Check out the Dallas players. Harris, LeBron, and in November, Dirk and Irving. In the Timberwolves, they had Wingate Pollard. So, we're up against Golden State Warriors 12 and 18. Still the bad performance. In the next game, we're going to get with Jason Kidd with the Denver Nuggets. Gonna deal with this up now. I'm gonna save the file. We're ready to go. So, we're gonna save the files. We're gonna get ready for the header coming soon. And there will be new schedule instead because due to the lose to Utah decided we're gonna have a double header against Golden State. July 21, we're up against Denver. 22 against Atlanta. Skip to Philadelphia. 23 against Milwaukee. 24 against Clippers. 25 against Suns. 26 against OKC. 27 against San Antonio. 28 against Indiana. 29 against San Antonio again and skip the Washington 30 it might be difficult with the school well up against Hornets and then July 31 I will revenge with Utah August 1 against Denver August 2 against Cleveland 3 Detroit skip the Detroit 4 Indiana skip the Minnesota 5 Phoenix 6 Portland skip the New Jersey 8 New York skip the Philadelphia 9 San Antonio 10 Boston, the starter all star, and the 10 will be playing all star. 11 Boston, 12 Memphis, 13 Utah, 14 New York, 15 Golden State, skip the Sacramento, 16 Lakers, 17 Hawks, 18 Miami, 19 Hornets, 20 Blazers, 21 Clippers, 22 Key, 23 Rockets, 24 Rockets, 25 Magic, skip the Charlotte. 26 Memphis, 27 Denver, skip the Hornets, 28 Lakers, skip the Sacramento and Minnesota, 29, 30, and 31. So we're gonna finish off before the school will come out. It might be possible it should be changing time, you know, time shuffles because grade 8 and 9 will be come out of school with 10 days to go. So that's it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. We'll see you later because it's very too difficult. With Utah, gonna revenge on March 2013 back against Salt Lake. I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna do it on the award steals and award blocks. Thanks for watching and sign up. Peace out. We'll see you later. Thanks for peace out.